And back here at Connolly Memorial Stadium, after the Tanners took a resounding victory, 28 to 14, over the Concord Carlisle Patriots. Joey, how did you how did you feel after that game? In, initial feeling. That was a good win overall for the Woburn Tanners, in my opinion. I think they had a little bit of a defensive lapse towards the end of it, giving up those 14 unanswered points. But overall, the rushing attack looked good. Tuzolo had his occasional play-action passes that were successful. And the defense also stepped up in many different ways throughout the game. Two touchdowns from Brian Ferreira, one from Doherty. What makes that running attack for the Tanners so good this season? It's the substitution adds. Anybody in that running back conferencing can um, make a difference whether it be Michael Doherty, whether it be the star Brian Ferreira, whether it be Pacini or Lush on a sweep, any of them can break a big run at any point. I think, for me, I think the big part of their success is the way they mismatched them today. The way they switched from from Ferreira to Lush to Doherty to back to Ferreira. I think that was important. And they, it just worked really well today. Um, capitalizing on the uh, Concord Carlisle's mistakes there, that was, that was a big point of emphasis for Woburn in this game. Yeah, the defense, specifically the secondary, came up big today with multiple interceptions. One off the weird flip pass that was intercepted by um, Ryan Lush from quarterback Miller. And then the one from senior Leland Stack in one of his final games in his Woburn High School career, which I can guarantee is good for him. Yeah, for sure. And and on that on that Leland Stack interception, you got to credit Matt Souza on that on that tip there to get it to Stack. And Lush blocking on Stack's interception and Stack blocking on Lush's interception showed the camaraderie of this team and the chemistry for sure. How well they can each pick up for each other when they know they have a chance to increase their lead even more. And I want to talk about Mark Rutone. For the first time, not talked about in the secondary, secondary, but the strength of his leg. Two field goals from Crutone and a big 35-yard field goal. How important is it to have that option going forward for the Tanners? I feel like that's big, especially for next season as they want to um, go further into the playoffs than they did this year to have the confidence and to not always have to go for it on fourth down and settle for three and hopefully keep up with more high-powered offenses is, I think, something that the Tanners can look forward to in the future. Yeah, great point, Joey. And as we move forward, after this 28-14 victory against Concord Carlisle, we move forward. We move forward to the Thanksgiving game, the big game, the one that everybody looks forward to every single season. As we remember Fenway from last year. That was 1,000% the most unforgettable football game I've ever been a part of. The final score being 26-22 to with that flyer out touchdown by then freshman Ryan Lush who just went up against his defender, made a catch and sprinted in the end zone to get the Tanners the win. I think that's also one of the barometers of a successful season is even if the Tanners struggle at all in the regular season, if they win against Winchester, it almost feels like a success. And yeah, Joey, great point. I remember as a fan, when Lush scored that touchdown, we were jumping up and down, which brings me back to my point. As me and Joey are first year in the booth for these football games, make sure to stay tuned for the basketball games coming this winter. And we thank you from the bottom of our hearts for tuning into our games. And yeah, it's been a great season. Hopefully they win away in Winchester and we'll look forward to the basketball games coming soon in this, this winter. Thank you, everybody.